How's it going, everybody? Well, I made a ginormous flub. I accidentally flashed the interview with the boys from Felicity, but as a small consolation prize, uh, I do have the man, the myth, the legend, uh, one of the parts of the brain, the main brain behind the outfit, as I've always seen it. You know, I know uh, Damien is, a, is an OG member. You and Damien were the guys to start out. But I've got Andrew from Felicity on the line. Andrew, how you doing, dude? Yes, I'm great. How are you? Yes, I'm fine. We're fine. What is this? <laughs> You're all fine here. 2.0. It's version 2.0. We're just huh? running it back. How are you? Dude, so, A, uh, let's, let's talk about, okay, first of all, let's talk about the record, and then we'll move on okay. from that. But uh, we recorded a week ago. So let's. This is coming out ASAP. I'm gonna do just the expose. So you're yeah, gonna get, for sure. This is gonna be the premiere interview. I'll link it in with another full podcast, but I definitely want to put it out yeah. ASAP. All right. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Anyways, old habits. Yeah, it's out now. So everyone, as soon as you hear this, you can go check it out if you want to. Spotify. Um, the best, easiest way I like to send everyone is there's a website. It's fanlink.to slash old habits. Uh, I'll send it to you, Timmy, directly, so maybe you can put it in comments or whatever. Um, yeah, uh, you can find it anywhere, Spotify, iTunes, um, FelicityOldHabits.com if you want to buy a copy. But it should be everywhere where you can stream music online. And if you'd like to follow Felicity on any of the platforms, follow them at we are Felicity on Twitter, Instagram. Follow Mr. Andrew Rapier. He's a good guy to uh, kind of keep tabs on because you always uh, you, you've got good, as they say, quote unquote, grammar. So, oh yes, yeah, there you go, buddy. <laughs> well, I don't know if that's if they say that where you guys are, are from, but yeah, yeah, you know, I say you, I say you. you. No, but it's been grammar. great. Yeah, the uh, the album been out has been out a few days now. It came out on a Friday. We had the release show last, uh, what was it, Sunday night, so uh, a couple nights ago. Um, that was insane, had an incredible turnout. Um, sales for the record have been, you know, destroying any even um, inclination of a, of a hope we had originally when we, when we released it. So it's going good. People are loving it. Um, the two reviews we've gotten in so far have all been stellar. So we are on cloud nine. Like, we... We are so excited to get this album out. We've had these songs for over a year now, closer to two years. So to finally be able to release them after this, I know you know, Timmy, how much of a painstaking process it can be from the concept of an album to recording the album to when you can actually get it to where people can hear it. Um, so it's this, you know, such a rewarding process to finally be able to get it out there and, and hear some feedback. So we're, we're incredibly excited for that. Yeah, man. And I'm excited for you guys. I'm so proud of you guys. All of you guys. Tell all the boys I said yeah. hi. Mike, Damon, I will Corey, absolutely. I'll, I'll, I'll um, I'm looking at pictures from the uh, CD release show right now. Uh, you guys killed it, man. That is a prime example. If you go to uh, We Are Felicity on Facebook, you can see some of the pictures they have posted. Just a great turnout. And uh, I, I would like to say a prime example of not only hard work, but when you do it right, when you build your audience when you when you get the the you pick the right songs for this record, man. Having listened mm -hmm. to the record stem to stern a few times now, you guys picked the songs that. I mean, this song the the record makes sense from stem to stern. Yeah, you know? awesome, awesome. So you know, it kicks off with the bang and then just uh, tons of energy. But I think a lot of the the listeners out there they don't really have a huge uh, a huge uh, history of the band. So why don't you walk me through that when it started? and just kind of a quick lineage of the band and where you guys are at. Yeah, now. yeah, definitely. We're one of those uh, illustrious uh, Craigslist bands, you know? Uh, Damien and I met on Craigslist in, uh, like, 2014, and he was in a cover band, and he was um, just doing the cover gigs, and he was making money, and he was um, doing a lot of 90s alternative cover bar shows. You know, you, you know exactly how it is. You play three sets and, you know, you get a certain amount of money per set and whatever. And it was it's all fun, but he wasn't feeling rewarded and fulfilled with that. And I came from the other side where I had only been in all original bands where you make no money, but you get so many other rewarding factors of it other than monetarily where, you know, people you write music that people, you know, might enjoy and you might play a show and people show up to see you play music you wrote and sing along and all that so there's 
two different complete sides of the coin and i was able to give him some of that knowledge of um being in an all original band and he was able to give me the knowledge of what it's like gigging every night and running the band as a business so it kind of started as a partnership like that and we uh, met up via craigslist and i went to his parents house and we played some songs in his parents garage as cliche as that sound and we um started writing music together and for the first six months we would just sit sit in his garage and write and play together and learn how to play with each other and write music and then we started um thinking you know let's see if we can find a drummer and let's see if we can find a bass player and over the years other bass players and drummers and second guitar players have come and gone but since we've had this lineup which has been about three years now out of the past five years we've had this lineup for three years things have just you know taken off and we've gotten to record with gold record, record producers and gone on tour and seen the countries and played with the main amazing bands like pullman standard and um have just done you know already accomplished more than we ever dreamed we would have so um it's been a wild ride and we're so excited to have this new record out and to get back on the road and next month and um to just do the whole damn thing like it's so exciting and fun so it's, it's a dream come true well i'm glad your dreams come true bro because they do yeah. when you work yes, hard for do. them bro yes it's true <laughs> um but uh i will say also there in a band's career there are hell yeah moments there are moments where mm -hmm. you're like fucking hell yeah that's awesome and yep. i know you've gotten to play with a lot of really cool bands you guys got to do the warp tour so obviously yes. you met a lot of cool bands or, but not focusing on just the warp tour but just mm -hmm. any hell yeah moment was there like when was that hell yeah moment where you're like yes things are starting to click our our first ever hell yeah moment because i remember them all like if you know how it is to me like you have them all and you can probably rank them and some of them it's like picking your favorite child like you know they're just all so cool um we did um a festival when we first started the band we finally got like kind of the core lineup this is after mike joined the band it's shortly after we actually met you we got to play this festival called Sunfest in I think 2015, um, and it was our first ever festival. And we had never we'd always played just like you know local shows and some some bigger rooms, but never like a true festival atmosphere. And we won a contest to be added to this festival in West Palm Beach, Florida. And we didn't know when we would play. We would just know we were on the festival. And by the time the set times came out, they had us on the like a final night kind of like the headline night and we were on the, the main stage the headline stage and we were actually like only a half hour before the true headliner which was fallout boy so we got to play like you know an hour and a half before fallout boy our set was and so everyone was there waiting to see fallout boy and had to you know deal with watching us first but it was insane because as us being a local band who have only played for you know maybe at most a hundred people at a time to play for you know multiple thousand people and then to have like a line for two hours at our merch stand and people wanting us the first time ever people asked us to like sign something um and to just you know play on a stage that big and to be on like a big you know a big screen where they're like showing off the the stage like to be on a big screen and that whole experience was insane the getting to play on the war free one at sea cruise which was like a warp tour on a cruise ship and we got to um, play a song um, with one of our absolute, you know, um, musical icons who we've looked up to, Dan Marsala of Story of the Year. We were doing um, a set on the Warp Freeline cruise, and we asked him if he would come, come on stage with us. And we were going to do a cover of Lincoln Park. And we went up to him and we're like, hey, man, you know, you're the only person on this cruise that we know of that has actually toured with Lincoln Park. And this was right after Chester Bennington's, you know, death, right after he passed away. And we're like, we're going to do a tribute to him at, uh, at our final set. And we'd love you to come up and do his parts and to have him be like, hell yeah, like, let's do this. And to have, be able to perform with someone you've looked up to, like absolute hell yeah moment. Like those are probably the top two for me of our of our band's hell yeah moments. Yeah. And hell yeah. Uh, crazy enough as it is, the first time I ever saw a story of the year was with Linkin Park on that. Uh, that it was that tour. It was that tour. Yeah. yeah that was the. They were like the opening band. Yes. Yeah. And they blew everybody yeah. out of the water. Yeah. They're it was insane. so They're... nuts. Phil Sneed's jumping off the freaking yep. rafters. And I was like, who are these They're doing guys? backflips like oh. off their cabs. That was so And dude, crazy. to this day, like this was th that Warp Rewind crew was kind of like their comeback. 
it was their first time playing live in a few years and they now are killing it like i think they're independent and that new record wolves came out and it's amazing yeah it's and a they're good kind record. of doing they're doing it on their terms which is great and to this day like they i don't know how old they are i assume they're in their mid to late 30s but they're still doing the backflips and still doing everything they were doing when they were you know 20 so still amazing band to see live if you ever get a chance yeah, go see them, Story of the Year. But first, go see Felicity because they're going <laughs> to yeah. be out on tour soon. Check yeah, out their we new, don't know uh, how to do any – we can't backflip off our calves yet, but maybe we'll try to work that in. Yeah, so. maybe you guys could just do like a cheerleading routine instead. Yeah, yeah, like <laughs> go that. team, go. Go team, yeah. Felicity's awesome. Um, <laughs> I don't even know where I was going with that. But I do know that you could go grab Old Habits because it's out now. And uh, honestly, dude, I, I, there's so many things that we could talk about, but I just wanted to I wanted to get you on the horn because a losing the other interview, and I was so bummed because it really you really get to see the personality of the rest of the band too. With like Damien is such a stoic front man. He's a yeah. he's a good leader. He's a good guy to have on board, and he's just very. I love that he's very business oriented because he's he all kinda, business. Yeah, he definitely drives the ship, and and you need that guy. You know, you can't yep. like so many people. They're like, oh, we're looking for that wild, crazy front man. It's like you know what? Get yourself a like a lead guitarist or somebody who's wild and crazy. Have your front yeah. man be somebody who's going to show up for every single fucking show and yep. do it right. Yeah, and Damien do right. does, man. He does it right. You guys found yourself a gem, or you did. Thank God for Craigslist, yeah. right? Yeah, and he's he's had it all. Like he's had to play guitar, he's had to play bass, and he's had to be a solo frontman. And I know you know that what that's like too, and being able to wear those hats of if members come or go, which happens with every single band in existence. Um, you know, to be able to have a lead singer who's totally comfortable, who's like, whatever, we're gonna keep the ship running. I'm gonna learn how to play the songs on bass, and we're not canceling any dates or anything, or. You know, I'm going to play guitar. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, he'll, he'll, he'll get it done. And I could never do that. I could never all of a sudden be the lead singer of the band. You know, yeah. no way in hell. So um, it's it's incredible blessing to have him. And he works so hard. And he really is so passionate. And it's definitely the, like, even feel when, you know how musicians can all be emotional. But he keeps us all kind of at an even feel, which is great. Well, that's that's the good sign right there. And then you've got a nice yep. little backbone and on base with Mike. And yep. then the other two new guys in my in my eyes always yeah. it's Corey and then I always uh drummer. What's the drummer's yeah, name? Yeah, Tyler. So Tyler. Even, yeah, even though they've been in the band for three years, they'll always be the new guys. They're always the new guys the to me. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey new guys. Yeah. Like uh yeah. you've you've met us a bunch of times. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Corey, Ty, uh, Ty, Taylor, Tyler. Yeah, Travis, yeah t- Trevor. Yeah. Trevor Tyler. Exactly. No, dude. Yep. Uh, but all, all, all you guys have definitely found a gem and uh, in each other, and definitely become a family, which is one of the coolest things to see. Because there's certain bands, and you guys are gonna have your arguments, you're gonna have your disagreements. That's fine. I get so like I'm gonna rant for a second, so bear with me. No, but, sure. Um, like. I mean, just experience with having to hire a lot of members in the last couple of years. You say like, oh, hiring members. It's like, well, you know, in L.A., it's a little bit different of a of a field. Like a lot of people out here, you there's tons of musicians and you can you could pick from your lot of the pick of really good mm-hmm. musicians. But that's all they do. So, you know, mm-hmm. when they tour with you, you got you know, the bills got to be covered. It's not like they're working a day job, saving up a little bit of dough and then you get yeah. the road for a couple of weeks. It's like, no, this is how I make my money. So if I'm touring with you. We got to have contracts and yeah. blah, 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 blah. But even having said that, man, I you'd be surprised how many fucking babies there are in L.A. and how many times I have to wipe somebody's ass. And sorry to rant, but I'm not yeah. sorry because you guys are you guys are actually men. You guys have men. You, you men up and you, you get out there on the road and you kick ass. And, yeah, you have those disagreements, but you talk them out and you get through them and, yeah. and uh, you don't pout. And <laughs> I cannot tell you how many times I've had to deal with guys pouting. And I'm like, how old are you? How yeah. old are you, really? So somebody, yeah. somebody enlighten me, and I and it's like I only want to live in the positive world, but I, but I'm I'm also one of those guys where it's like you know what, man, I'll hit people with some positivity in a real way. Like, yo, dog, it's a lot of work being in a band, and it's like you've got to want to show up when there's no money. Yeah. And if I went to the gym and worked out every time I felt good, and not on the times I didn't feel good, dude, yeah. it'd be a whole it'd be a whole different game. I go every For single sure. day. Even yeah. if I feel like shit, even when I'm hungover, how many times have you guys been on tour and played a show the next day and you're like, fuck, we drank too much last night. Oh yeah. Or, you know, or the times when you're broke down on the side of the road and 
it's a, it's a hundred degrees and um, you don't know when help's going to come or how you're going to find the money to get help or what's going to happen. But while you guys have each other, if you have a person who's com- going to be complaining or wanting to go home or whatever, like it's, it's never going to be that. And I'm, we're lucky enough that we have guys that do treat it like a family and we do stick together. And of course we have to have, you know, maybe every now and then a band practice once a quarter into being a therapy session where we all have to get the group you know, meeting and get, get out all of our frustrations. But at the end of the day, it, it all brings us closer together. And you're exactly right. Like we, we are, you know, never always, we've never had a point where we're financially stable because of the band. We all still do have day jobs and we have to find a way to make it work. But I'm lucky enough that all the guys I have with me um, are all in it for the same reasons. And I think that's why the chemistry ha- we have and we're able to stick together and accomplish so so many things so quickly because um you know we have that same mindset and you guys are right there man you you're about to hit the touring circuit you got a lot of stuff coming up and and it's like one of those things where it's like yeah maybe maybe we're not gonna quit our jobs but uh maybe put life on hold for a little bit and see how this yeah. see how this pans out yep. and you guys are standing on the precipice of uh some really great things and i'm really excited to see where you guys fly to because you got some really big wings that are about to take you some places. So Dude, appreciate that's, that. that's a good thing. Um, let's see anything else I'm missing besides check them out at we are Felicity, go to Spotify, go everywhere else. You've already said it, but um, make sure you tell all the other boys. Uh, I said, hello and man, absolutely. If, uh, if you guys are ever broken down on the side of the road, feel free to give me a call. And if you For ever sure. need, and uh, if anybody ever gets hurt or decides uh, they're a little bit too sick to play their instrument, you give me a call. I'll fill in for you. 100%. 100%. Rock and roll. Well, everybody, uh, you just listened to me talking to uh, Andrew from Felicity. And uh, go get their album, Old Habits Out. We're going to be playing their song, Tough Luck. Am I right? Yeah, it's Tough Luck. Yes, right? you're so, right. Yes, it got featured on the Alternative Press Spotify playlist. Yeah, yeah, we actually have that song on Pop Punk's Not Dead right now, New Punk Tracks, like some of that really good Spotify playlist, so it's pretty easy to find. Go check it out. I, it's my favorite song of the record, so definitely go check it out. Yes. I wipe my ass to that shit, bro. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know what oh, I just yeah. said, but I love, <laughs> I love you much, Brother Bear, and I'll talk love to you, you too, soon, man. Hey, I will see you. Yep. We're solidified for that show together. Yeah, we're playing it. We're playing it. I'll Yay. see you in May. So if, uh, if you're an East Coast Felicity fan get and uh, you know of Pullman Standard, come see both of us rock and roll on stage in May. What's the date, dude? Do you know the date? May 18th. May 18th, we're going to be yep. taking the stage, and Felicity will probably end up headlining it. <laughs> because you guys, cause you guys kick so much ass, bro. Now I'm the little no baby again. I will not allow that to happen. I'm not following Pullman Standard. I learned that lesson the hard way. Ah, I love you so much, dude. Rock love and roll. You, Have a good rest of the day, brother. All right, we'll catch you later. All right, later, Andrew. Later. Rock and roll, you guys. Well, uh, that was Andrew Rapier from Felicity. And uh, the world is your oyster uh, when you work hard for it. So keep finding those pearls, collecting them, and eventually you'll have a necklace of amazing experiences and you'll be able to show off. Uh, and a lot of the times not, it's not even showing off moreover of just uh, wearing those moments and those experiences as a badge of honor. And it makes you a better person for getting through them. And no matter if people know or not, the songs will be better, the band will be better, the live show will be better. And uh, you'll be better for it. So go out there and pick up Felicity's new record, Old Habits, out now on Penultimate Records and everywhere else that music could be found. Anyways, I'm Timmy D. And uh, this is a nice little uh, music spotlight corner, a first little attempt at it. And I I think it uh, went pretty well. How about you? Go ahead and tweet me at Timmy D in the industry uh, on Twitter. You can find me on Instagram at Timmy D in the industry or Captain underscore Timmy D. Follow my band Pullman Standard at Pullman Standard on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, Facebook, I believe it's actually Pullman Standard Music. I got to double check. I don't even know my own damn handles anymore. But that's neither here nor there. You can follow me on Spotify after you've listened to the awesome new album by Felicity. And uh, if a task once begun, never leave it till it's done. Be that labor big or small, do it well, or not at all. Rock and roll. I will never stagger on this ruthless floor. Where you've been is what I want to know it. Don't I cuss, your face won't show it. And I will never waver from my peace of mind. What I've seen is not the way for you. And I promise I will bust through it. You can't.
Diamond Heart Production.